Namaste to all. May I introduce uh, all of you to uh, our young doctor, uh, Dr. Shilpa Ramdas, who will be hosting uh, today's session of uh, uh, Gurukula. Good evening, all. I am Dr. Shilpa Ramdas. Hearty welcome to all participants to 18th session of Gurukula. And cordial welcome to the speaker of today's session, Dr. Dibya Jodi. He is pursuing PhD and working as an assistant professor in the Department of Panchakarma, Sri Krishna Ayurveda College, Varanasi. And today's topic of discussion is Principle and Practices of Vasti Karma in Gridrasi. Over to you, sir. Thank you to the organizers of EG Ayurveda for giving me a platform and opportunity to share my views and thought on the topic principle and practice of Basti Karma in Gridrasi. So coming to the topic specific, so at the glance or at the outset, so today we are going, going to see uh, the understanding the Lakshana Samprapti, Bheda and Chikitsa of Gridrasi, understanding the different types of Basti that is practiced in the management of Gridrasi, understanding the probable mode of action of Basti Karma. Introduction. So Gridrasi is one of the Sula or Ruja Pradhana Vata Vyadi. And Gridrasi is one among 80 types of Vataja Nanatmaja Vikara mentioned by Acharya Charaka. Kapha bin Anuvata or Anuvandi Dosha and Vata bin Pradhana Dosha in the manifestation of the disease Gridrasi. That's why or therefore Gridrasi is of two types told by Acharya Charaka namely Vataja Gridrasi and Vata Kaphaja Gridrasi. So very important point is that Gridrasi is a Shul and Ruja Pradhana Vata Vyadi. So coming to the specific Lakshanas told by Acharya Charaka, Spik Purva Kati Prushta Uru Janu Jangha Pada Kramat, Gridrasi Stamba Uru Toda Granyati Spandate Muhu. So Vatat, Vata Kaphat, Tandra, Gaurava, Arochakan Nuita. So the Acharya Charaka so specifies that the pain that starts from Spik, buttocks or thigh region and that radiates to the Prushtabhaga of Kati, Uru, Janu, Jangha, Pada, in the sequential order, in this krama, in the sequential order. And some of the features of or lakshanas of Vataja, Vataja type of Gridrasi are Stamba, Ruk, Toda, Grihanyati, Muhurspandana. And some of the additional features means the Vata Kafaja Gridrasi will have the same features of Vataja Gridrasi along with some of the additional features of, kaf, of Kafa lakshanas like Tandra, Gaurava and Arochaka. So according to Acharya Charaka in Gridrasi, there is an intense shooting pain character, characteristically radiating from the speak, hip to the Prushtabhaga of Kati, Uru, Janu, Jangha and Pada in the same sequential order and there are the symptoms told in Gridrasi. So Acharya Susruta and Acharya Bhagavata has given that specific term that is a confirmatory sign of Gridrasi that is Shakti Ukshepaka Nigrahati which is which can be compared to SLR in the modern parameter. So that is restriction in the lifting of leg as the cardinal sign of Gridrasi. It is the Shakti Ukshepaka Nigrahati. It is nothing but it can be, it is exactly like that of SLR, which was told in the ancient days by Acharya Churu, Charaka and Acharya Bhagavata. So coming to the Samprapti of Gridrasi, so all types of Vyathavayadhi, We'll have four types of samprapti, basic four types of samprapti. Usually a vata vyadi can be kevala vata. It can occur due to kevala vata or it can occur due to samsargada dosha or, or so samsargaja dosha. So kevala vata vyadi. Second one is samsargaja dosha. So samsargaja dosha can be vata pitta with the combination vata and pitta. So if it will be the combination of Vata Pitta, then Pitta should, should be treated first, later Vata Dosha. If it will be Kapha and Vata, then Kapha should be treated first, then Vata Dosha. If it will be both three Vata Pitta and Kapha type of Samprapti, then initially Pitta should be treated first, then Kapha should be treated first, then Vata should be treated first. And the third type of Samprapti might be Avarana Janya Samprapti. So Avarana Janya Samprapti also you should look for Rakta Vritta Vata or Kapha Vritta Vata. So you have to do Avarana Janya Chikitsa. Later on you have to do Vatasya Upakrama. Fourth type of Samprapti of any Vata Vyadi can be Dhatuk Shayaja. Dhatuk Shaya directly can happen due to Avikata also. So there are four types of Samprapti based on Samprapti. It can be of four types. Gridrasi. Kevala Vata, Samsargaja Doshas, then Avaranajanya 
or it can be dhatuk shay janya and based on based on so the another type of classification can be swatantra gridrasi and paratantra gridrasi so swatantra gridrasi the lakshana of vata and vata ja gridrasi is a swatantra type of gridrasi whereas there is another type of gridrasi which is paratantra gridrasi where gridrasi occurs due to a underlying disease the gridrasi can occur because of amavata sandhigata vata or it can occur due to the cyst or tumor in the garbhini or it can occur due to intervertebral disc prolapse compression of nerve so so those type of gridrasi is a paratantra type of gridrasi and in our classics they have only mentioned vataja and vata kapha type of gridrasi see vataja type of gridrasi vata prakopaka nidana will de- will lead to dhatukshaya so dhatukshaya will be the main samprapti whereas in vata kafaja gridrasi so there will be the anubandhi of kafa dosha and you will get all the additional kafaja type of symptoms for example tandra arochaka gaurava so salivation of mukhasya so such type of kafaja symptoms you will get in vataja vata kafaja type of gridrasi so coming to the samprapti ghataka so definitely there is the involvement of vata and kafa dosha dushya kandra snayu sira asti and mamsa srotas raktavah srotas mamsavah srotas astivah srotas sangha is the srota dushti jatra agni and dhatva agni are involved jatra agni janya ama and dhatva agni janya ama pakvasha is the udbhava sthana kati and adhranga is the sanchara sthana kati and speak is the adhishthana then vyakta sthana speak kati prishta uru jangha and pada so adhishthana so chakradatta tells that kati and speak are the initial site from where the disease begins and according to acharya shushruta kandara of prashni pada and anguli are affected by vishayate doshas and the vyakta sthana of gridrasi is pik kati prishta uru janu jangha pada are the vyakta sthana of the disease gridrasi so vata ja gridrasi and vata kapha ja gridrasi so see you give, in vata ja gridrasi you will you will see the following lakshana zruk which is pain todam pricking or piercing type of pain stamba stiffness grahanam restricted movements spandana fasciculation or twitching so deha vakrata deformity in the body posture kati sandhi spuranam janu sandhi spuranam uru sandhi spuranam and suptata numbness so these are the symptoms of vata ja gridrasi whereas in vata kapha ja gridrasi you will you will get the symptoms of vata ja gridrasi along with some additional kafaja symptoms like arochakam tandra gauravam banni mardavata so mukha prasheka staimitya such kafaja lakshanas you will additional find in vata kafaja type of gridrasi so coming to the samanya chikitsa so acharya charaka in maharoga adhyaya has given some of the samanya chikitsa for vata dosha so in means while explaining the samanya chikitsa so acharya has have highlighted the sneha upakrama sveda astapana and anuvasana basti as a treatment for vata dosha and among this treatment also the acharya charaka has praised the applicability of astapana and anuvasana basti in the treatment of vata dosha whereas in dosha upakramani adhyaya in vatasya upakrama acharyas have told vatasya upakrama sneha sveda samshodana mrudu vatasya upakrama sneha sveda mrudu samshodana is advised for vatasya upakrama and for the treatment of all the vata vikara as a vatasya upakrama mentioned by acharya vagavata mrudu samshodana is advised because tikshna samshodana will increase the vata prakopa will lead to vata prakopa again that's why mrudu samshodana is advised in form of mrudu virechana with erenda taila in all in all types of vata vyadi we can use mrudu samshodana with either tilloka ghrata or erenda taila even the acharyas have also highlighted the utility of anuvasana basti for vata shamana so coming to the vishesha chikitsa or vishishta chikitsa for gridrasi antra kandra gulpam sira basti agni karma cha gridrasi shu prayunjita so acharya charaka has highlighted a vishishta chikitsa of gridrasi like sira vyada between kandra and gulpa pradesha basti karma and agni karma so coming to the importance of shodhana in gridrasi before the administration of basti karma so gridrasyat naram 
सम्यक एकेना बमने नवा ज्ञानत्वा निरामम दिप्ताग्नि बस्ते भी ही समुपाचरे तो आचरे भाव प्रकाश और आचरे चक्रदत्त हैज गिवेन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ उर्दा शोधना दैट इज वन शुल अंडरगो पाचना दीपना मृदु वामना मृदु शोधना है मींस शोधना मींस यू शुड ऑलवेज टू मृदु टाइप ऑफ शोधने इन वाता बिकारा बिकॉज़ तिक्षना शोधना विल लिटू वाता प्रकोपा सो मृदु शोधना मींस यू कैन डू मृदु वामना और मृदु विरेचना सो स्रोता शोधना शुड बी डन फास्ट देन आफ्टर अटे� or else, if if the basti is administered in nirama condi means ama condition, then it is like putting ghrita in extinguished yagya. So such type of simile is given by Acharya Bhava Prakasan Chakradatta. So so we should always follow the shodhana technique. Pachana dipana sne pachana dipana snehana svedana, then murdu vamana or murdu virechana followed by basti chikitsa. And that too. Nirama avastha, basti should be always administered in Nirama avastha and in the status of Agni Dipti. Sama condition, you can always go for Ruksha Sveda and Kevala Vata Ja Gurudrasi, you can do Sneha Svedana and Vasti Karma. So, Lakshana Adhishtana Chikitsa. So, if we see the Lakshana is like Daha, so Dosha Sthana means Rakta Gata Vata Chikitsa is Shiraveda. Sabdata and Ruja type of Lakshana, Dosha Sthana will be Mamsa Meda Gata Vata. So, Nirva Vasti is administered. अतिरुक्त स्तंभान तोड़ा टाइप ऑफ लक्षण है दोष स्थान में अस्तिगता वाता अभ्यंतरस नेहा इन फॉर्म ऑफ निरुवस्ति कैन बी एडमिनिस्टर शक्ति शूला दोष स्थान में विल बी मज्जागता वाता इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन फॉर्म ऑफ अभ्यंतरस नेहा अनुवासन वस्ति कैन बी एडमिनिस्टर जंगा उरु त्रिका पृष्ठर administer lakshana adhishtana chikitsa so basti chikitsa in gridrasi so so acharya so acharya brahatrai laghutrai and many other acharyas have given different types of chikitsa sutra in the treatment of gridrasi vata so acharya charakas have highlighted siravyada basti karma and agni karma acharya susruta and acharya vagavata has given the importance of siravyada in the chikitsa of gridrasi bhela samita have highlighted the importance of rakta mukshana sneha basti Sneha Unmardana, Unmardana. Vangasena has highlighted the importance of Pachana Deepana, then Shodhana in form of Murdu Mamana, Murdu Virechana, Basti Karma, then Siraveda. Chakradatta also highlighted Deepana Pachana, then similar type of concept like Murdu Shodhana, like in form of Murdu Mamana, Murdu Virechana, Basti and Sastra Karma in form of Siraveda and Agni Karma. Yogradhanakara has highlighted Siraveda and Agni Karma. Bhava Prakasa, also highlighted the importance of shodhana before administration of basti. So Gada Nigraha also highlighted the importance of basti, agni karma and rakta mukshana in the management of gradrasi. So these are the opinions of various acharyas in the treatment of gradrasi vata. So coming to the next slide, there are some of the classical reference we find for nirva vasti in the management of gradrasi. So there is a basti known as erenda muladi nirva vasti in Charaka Siddhisthana third chapter. So, Erenda Muladi Nirva Vasti, actually it is a Tikshna Vasti because Gomutra is used as Avapa in this Vasti and there is eight number of Madana Phala. It makes this Vasti Sharia also and Tafar also. It is usually indicated in the symptoms like Janga, Uru, Pada, Trika, Prushtam, Shulam and it is indicated in Kafabrita Vata condition also. The nature of the Vasti is Sharia. It's a Sharia types of Vasti. It's a Tikshna Vasti. It's a Ushna Vasti. It's a it's a kafahara vasti. It's a kafavatahara vasti. This erenda muladi nirva vasti. So vaitarana vasti explained in chakradatta samhita shula anaha amavatahara. It is explained in such a way vaitarana vasti that too it is. So vaitarana vasti is of two types. Go mutra yukta vaitarana, go dugda yukta vaitarana. So go mutra yukta vaitarana, you find the indication like shula anaha amavatahara. It is a shula hara vasti. It's a amahara vasti. It's a most celebrated vasti in form of in the disease of Amavata. So same thing can be used in the treatment of Vata Kafaja Gridrasi also in the initial stage. In the in the acute stage of Gridrasi, if you suspect Kafa involvement as an Anubandi Dosha or if you find Kafavrita Vata, Kafavrita Vata type of Samprapti, then you can initial phase, you can start with Tikshna Vasti like Gomutra Ipta Vaitarana Vasti. Then Kshira Vaitarana Vasti. So in the indication of Kshira Vaitarana Vasti, it is told that it is Kati Uru Prushta 
Shotham and Shulam. Shof of Kati Uru Prishta, Shofam and Shulam. And it is directly indicated in Gridrasi. Shira Vaitarana Basti. It is given by Achare Vangasena. Shira Vaitarana. It is directly indicated in the treatment of Gridrasi Vata. This Shira Vaitarana can be used in Vata Jagridrasi also. It can be also can be used in Vata Kafaja Gridrasi also. Shara Vaitarana. So Kshara Vasti. So next is the Kshara Vasti told by Achare Chakradatta. So it is a Shula Haravasti. See, Kshara Vasti is more Kshariya in nature compared to Vaitarana Vasti. So Kshariya Vasti is a special Vasti and it is more Kshariya as compared to this Vaitarana Vasti. So Kshara Vasti also can be used in Vata Kapha Jagradrasi or Kapha Vrta Vata condition. Mustadi Yapana Vasti is a Brumana type of Vasti. So Yapana Vasti, this can be used in for Brumana purpose in Vata Jagradrasi or once the once the Ama Lakshana has been eradicated, so once the Ama Lakshana goes, then you can always do Brahmana and Vata Shamana by using Mustadi Yapana Basti. So Ardha Matrika Nirva Basti. So Ardha Matrika Nirva Basti, which is explained by Acharya Vangasena and also Chakradatta also has explained Ardha Matrika Basti. The usual quantity of Basti is Dwadasa Prasruta. But as the name suggests Ardha Matrika, the matra is half of Dwadasa Prasruta, that is six Prasruta. And it is told that it is Sarva Roga Nivarana and Shulagna. This is also a Shulagna Basti and this is also Sarva Roga Nivarana Basti. So Ardha Matrika Basti can also be used in the treatment of Girdra Sivat. Brushyadi Basti explained in Shushruta Chikitsa Stana, that is Nirva Karma, Nirva Karma Chikit, Nirva Basti Karma. So this Brushyadi Vasti is directly indicated in Gridrasi and also there is another Vasti Sampakadi Nirva Vasti by Acharya Susruta. So Prushta Uru Shulam. So, so this Vasti is also directly indicated in so Gridrasi as the symptoms you can see the Lakshanas and symptoms. So these are the some of the classical Vasti which are directly indicated for the treatment of Gridrasi Vata. So some of the Sneha Vasti, Anuvasana Vasti and Matra Vasti in practice. So Sahacharadi Tailam, Vaji Gandadi Tailam told by Yog Ratanakara, Sahacharadi Tailam Ashtangradaya, Pipaliadi Anuvasram Taila, Dhanvantram Taila, Vala Tailam, Narayana Tailam, Kubja Prasarini Taila, Pravanjana Vimardanam Tailam, Mahanarayana Tailam, Prasarini Tailam, Maharaja Prasarini Taila, Sahachara Tailam, Murchita Tila Tailam, Dashamula Tailam. These are some of the selected oil for the treatment or management of Gradrasi. This can be used in form of Sneha Vasti, Anuvasana Vasti in Matra Vasti. So Sneha Vasti, the practical applicability of Sneha Vasti is outdated. It is used in form of Anuvasana Vasti alternate with Nirva Vasti. Or if it is Kevala Vata as a type of Gradrasi, then you can do Brahmana or you can do Vata Shamana by giving Matra Vasti, the dose of Matra Vasti. So key for the selection of Vasti pattern. So Yoga Vasti, Yoga Vasti contains three Nirva Vasti and five Anuvasana Vasti. It is always, this Yoga Vasti is always indicated in Kapha Anuvandi condition, Kapha Samsrishta Vata, Kala Vasti, six Nirva Vasti and ten Anuvasana Vasti. It is told by this all Vasti pattern by according to Acharya Charaka. So Kala Vasti is half of Karma Vasti, Acharya Chak. Charaka tells it is 15 in number, Chakrapani clarifies the Vasti has 16 in number, whereas there is 6 Nirva Vasti and 10 Anuvasana Vasti. Kala Vasti is indicated in Pitta Anuvandi condition or Pitta Samsarga condition in Madhyama Rogi Bala. Karma Vasti, again 13 number, 12 Nirva Vasti and 8 Anuvasana Vasti. So it is Vata Vishesham or it is Vata, it should be used in Vata Pradhana Roga, Gambhira Roga with Kupita Vata. It is used in Balavan Rogi who can withstand this Basti. So Chaturvadra Kalpa Basti is a very unique type of Basti. It is told by Acharya Kashyapa. Since this Chaturvadra Kalpa Basti, initially there is four Anuvasana Basti continuously. The next four Nirva Basti continuously. The last four Anuvasana continuously. So there are eight Anuvasana Basti and four Nirva Basti. Because of eight Anuvasana Basti continuously and four Nirva Basti continuously. So I had a one of my own study, my one, one of my own post-graduation study, a comparative clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of Chaturvadra Kalpa Vasti and Kala Vasti in Vata Jagradrasi with special reference to sciatica. So such type of Vasti is very, it goes well with Vata is a type of Gridrasi and it is designed as for a Vata Vishesham. Means it is, it has a good 
efficacy on what is the type of girdrasi this chaturhudra kalpa vasti and this is this vasti is told to be niratya chaturhudra kalpa vasti is just a pattern of vasti and it is told as niratya by acharya kashyapa then one can go for matra vasti it is kevala vataja if the dhatukshaya takes place because of vata prakopa and if there is kevala vataja type of samprapti then you can go with matra vasti if the patient is durvala vata vikara bhara vadva vyayama yana karsita vridha sukumara alpagni so these are some of the key for selection of vasti pattern so the, see dwadasa prasritika vasti is told by acharya susruta acharya charaka and acharya kashyapa dwadasa prasritika vasti 12 prasruta equal to 24 pala so this is the dose that was practiced during that time but as the gradually the vala of the person our vala nowadays we won't find such type of tattva or vala of the patient so we can follow the sarangadara type of doses so sarangadara follows the pravara madhyama and avara matra 20 pala 16 pala and 12 pala type of matra so this was the so at least we can practice this our type of doses practically in our practice usually we are practicing 400 to uh, 650 700 ml of basti in practice i practice 400 ml to 750 ml of basti in my practice so somewhere the sarangadara matra of basti niro basti suits well in, the, in in compared to this present context present practice even ashtangridekara also told nava prasrutika basti ashtangride has told nava prasrut the total doses of Basti, Niro Basti is Nava Prasruta, told by Ashtangridekara. That also is in practice. So, so if you are designing Basti for Vata Kafaja Gridrasi, where there will be Kafa in Vridha Vasta, Agni Mandya, Sroto Varudha, Vata Vridhi, then we should always plan for Pachana and Deepana. We should always do Koshta Shodhana. Do some Shodhana should be done. Murdu Virechana or one time Virechana, Sadhya Virechana can be planned with Erenda Taila, with milk. Then after Koshta Shodhana, one should always go for Shodhana Basti followed by Shamana Basti or Brahmana Basti. So the action of Basti depends upon the Aushada used. So whatever medicines you will use, same type of result you will get. Because Basti is Ardha Chikitsa. So Tatra Snehadinam Karmanan, among all the snehad, Snehanadi Karma, Basti Karma is considered as Pradhana. Tatra Snehadinam Karmanan, Basti Karma Pradhanam. Tamaru Acharya Kasmat, Aneka Karma Karatva Bastihi, Iha Kalu Bastihi, Nana Vida Drabya Samyogad. So Nana Vida Drabya Samyojana means this different permutation and combination of Drabya will lead to multi-dimensional mode of action. That's why the Acharya says, Shina Sukravaji Karuti, Krisham Brahmayati, Stulam Karshayati, Bali Palita Upayanti, Bayas Tapayati. There are different types of action. So what action you want? Such basti you can prepare. Chakshushya basti is there, Samshodana, Samshamana, Brahmana basti, Rukshana basti, Stambana basti. So whatever action we want, such type of ingredient if you put, we can expect such result. It is according to the yukti of the vaidhi, according to avastha anusara. We should plan the vasti. See, if it is kafaja avastha, then we should always use the tikshna avapas like gomutra. In practice, we are using gomutra arka, distillate of gomutra. Arnala, Kanji, Taila should be used in comparison to Ghrita because Maharupagna Nachashleshma Vardhanam. It is a Vata Kafaja type of Ghridrasi. So Taila is the ideal choice. You can go with, if simple Taila, there are many Vata Kafara Tailas. Simple Taila, if you want, then Murchita Tila Taila. You can always select Murchita Tila Taila, which, is, which has Vata Kafara action. Maharupagna Nachashleshma Vardhanam, Bala Vardhanam, Tvachya Ustam Tirakaram, Taila Yoni Vishodhanam. So coming to so some of the Tikshna Vastis, which is practiced in Ghridrasi, so if it is Vata Kafaja Gridrasi, in the initial stage, we should always go for Vaitaran type of Basti. Or if, of, if it is Kafa Vrita Vata, then also you should, we should, initial stage, we must go with this Tikshna type of Basti, Ushna type of Basti, Ruksha type of Basti, that is Vaitarana Basti. So Acharya Chakradatta and Vangasena, Acharya Chakradatta and Vangasena have given the reference of Vaitarana Basti. So Acharya Chakradatta, so Acharya Chakradatta has highlighted Go Mutra Yukta Vaitarana, whereas Acharya Vangasena has highlighted Go Dukta Yukta Vaitarana. So Guda, so while framing Vaitarana Vasti, so we should always keep in mind that we should use Purana Guda because Nava Guda, Nava Guda does Brahmana and Purana Guda does Karshana and Tamarind, the paste of Tamarind divide of seed. 
and fibrous part should be used in form of talka isha taila yuto oyam so taila it is mentioned in a very little quantity so isha taila yuto oyam taila in a very little quantity that two specific taila like bruhat sandavadi taila or murchita tila taila can be taken go mutra has been told as one kudava that is 192 ml practically we use go mutra arka that is distillate of go mutra so so these are in practice so if you see vaitarana vasti that is go dugdha yukta vaitarana so the preparation of go dugdha yukta vaitarana so you have to dilute the imlika kalka you have to dilute the imlika kalpa somewhat and we have to add go dugdha in room temperature so always while preparing go dugdha yukta vaitarana vasti so go dugdha should be in room temperature it should not be too much warm and the paste of imlika it should not be in so much concentrated it should not be so much concentrated it should be in a semi diluted state such type of kalka we can put it so that the basti won't get spoiled that is go dukta yukta vaitarana basti go chakradatta has indicated this vaitarana basti is amanaha shula amanaha and bangasena has highlighted in rudrasi itself this basti so if you see the akshara basti so the akshara basti explained by chakradatta and bangasena is more potent because the quantity the quantity of guda is four times compared to the quantity of guda of vaitarana basti the quantity of amlika is twice that of amlika of vaitarana basti and you can see the go mutra also so go mutra quantity is also more compared to the vaitarana basti so ardha matrika nirva basti ardha matrika half of the quantity of the total dose of basti so it resembles like a plain dashamula nirva basti it resembles like a plain dashamula type of nirva basti this can be practiced in vata ja gridrasi so makshika two pala saindavala vana one karsha murchita tila taila here i have taken one pala equal to 40 ml in such sense i have taken makshika so dose it's a so approximately 480 ml of basti makshika two pala saindavala vana one karsha murchita tila taila two pala shata pushpa kala one aksha dashamula kasha eight pala such basti also we can practice in vata ja type of gridrasi again This is same or the matrika nirva basti here one pala 46 ml I have taken so same it is also or the matrika basti is given by two acharya chakradatta and vangasena so madhu tailika basti is explained by acharya susruta and dalhana has elaborated this madhu tailika basti with the doses quantity so you can see the madhu so 204 ml uh, with the quantity so tila taila so tila taila always we should use murchita type of tila taila. This plain tila taila ama it will create ama. So plain murchita tila murchita tila taila should be always used in basti. That is two prasruta plus one karsha. Saindava lavana twelve grams one karsha. Sata pushpa kalka half pala. Erenda mula kwatha four prasruta four plus two karsha. Madana phala. See madana phala is asta pana upaga and uh, it is also kafahara in nature. Madana phala. The more is the the more number number of madana phala if you put the more kafahara it becomes. And madana phala is always asta pana upaga. Madana phala can be added in form of kalka also. Madana phala can be added with the kashaya also. You can add madana phala in shatha pushpa kalka with the shatha pushpa kalka, or you can add madana phala one madana phala while preparing eranda mula kashaya. So madhu taili ka basti is also explained by achara charaka, where kwaath drabya is not mentioned. Here kwaath drabya is not mentioned. So you can do, we can do modification with this thing. Madhu is two prasruta, taila two prasruta, shatha pushpa half pala, saindha vala vana half aksha or half karsha. So kwaatha drabya, we can use dasha mula kwaatha or we can use erenda muladi kwaatha. It becomes like simple erenda muladi nirva vasti or it becomes like simple dasha mula nirva vasti. It it becomes like simple madhu taili ka vasti. Acharyas charaka has not highlighted kwaatha drabya while mentioning vasti. So the option is left to you. You can use dasha mula. As a kwatha drabya, you can use erenda mula also as a kwatha drabya. It is a very celebrated, it's a very most celebrated basti in the practice of vata ja type of gridrasi. So again, there is erenda mula di nirva basti. Erenda di mula di nirva basti is explained in Charaka Siddhisthana. So this basti is vata kapha shamaka. There are yes, there are thirty five drugs. There are twenty two ushna virya drabya and seven shita virya drabya. So nine drugs are having katu vipaka and twenty drugs are having madhuro vipaka so and also it is a kapha vata shamaka basti so this basti has eight number of madana phala you can see erenda mula de nirva basti so there are lot of ingredients 
లైక్ ఎరెండమూల పలాష లఘు పంచమూల రస్న అశ్వగంధ అతివిల అతివల గుడుచి పునర్నవ అరగ్వద దేవదారు అండ్ ఎయిట్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ మదన ఫల సో ఎయిట్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ మదన ఫల మేక్ దిస్ బస్తి కఫోహర ఇన్ నేచర్ ఆల్సో దెర్ ఈస్ గోమూత్ర ఆజ్ ఏ ఆబాప గోమూత్ర ఇస్ ఆజ్ ఏ ఆబాప ఆల్సో మేక్ దిస్ బస్తి కఫోహర ఇన్ నేచర్ ఇట్ మేక్స్ దిస్ బస్తి క్షార్య ఇన్ నేచర్ క్షార్య ఇట్ డ సో దిస్ కర్మ ఇస్ లైక్ లేఖన so karma of this basti will be shodhana and lekhana so this is a actually this erenda muladi nirovasti is a dwadasa prasutta vasti but in practice we can modify the dose and we can use in practice so direct indication is pain shula and gauravata in janga pada trika prushta it is directly indicated in kapha vrta vata kapha vrta vata kapha vata ja kapha vata ja lakshanas of gridrasi and it is a kshariya vasti it will do kshana it will do lekhana it will do deepana pachana and shodhana it is a shrota shodhana vasti it is a tikshna vasti ushna vasti this also is in practice then there is another type of yapana vasti see madhu tailika vasti is a yapana vasti it is a, it's a simple yapana vasti madhu tailika vasti yukta ratha vasti siddha vasti so these are yapana vasti simple type of yapana vasti then there is another type of yapana vasti which is explained in చరక సిద్ధి స్థాన యాపన బస్తి సిద్ధి వేర్ ద హావ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ముస్తాది యాపన బస్తి సుశ్రుత హైలైట్ ఇట్ ఆస్ రాజ యాపన బస్తి సో దెర్ ఆర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంగ్రీడియంట్స్ ఆఫ్ యాపన బస్తి లైక్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు యూజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రిపేర్ యాపన బస్తి విత్ మాక్షిక లవణ స్నేహ వీ క్యాన్ యూజ్ స్నేహ ద్రవ్య మాక్షిక లవణ స్నేహ కల్క సో ముస్తాది ముస్తాది కల్క ముస్తాది క్షీర పాక కషాయ అండ్ మాంసరస ఇస్ ద ఆబాప సో దిస్ బస్తి it also the indication of such basti is also uru kati prushta janu janga shulam and it is brahmana in nature it's a brahmana type of basti such mustadi yapana basti or raj yapana basti this basti also is practiced widely in the management of gridrasi vata so we have to do avastha anusara chikitsa so ama nirama avastha if we suspect ama avastha shama condition we should do ama chikitsa in form of ruksha sveda in form of basti karma like we should always select ruksha type of basti once the ama condition is converted into nirama avastha then we can always select vatahara simple vatahara basti or once vata shamana is done you can also select yapana type of basti like simple madhu tailika basti is a yapana type of basti you can also do brahmana vai mustadi yapana basti such type of things we should do alteration in the treatment according to the avastha avastha anusara chikitsa we should treat the patient this snehana always in kapha vrta vata we should always go for ruksha sveda so dhanyamla dharva baluka sveda such type of ruksha sveda we should select and once it is kevala vata you should you can select sashtika sali pinda sveda patra pinda sveda so in you have we have to do while stanika abhyanga and svedana as a purva karma for basti so we should always select a snigdha type of sveda in vata jagradrasi and ruksha type of sveda in vata kafaja type of gradrasi in the initial stage so there are various drug action mode of action so basti acts on what dravya you are using makshika lavana sneha kalkak vata so it depends upon makshika lavana sneha kalkak vata what type of drugs you are using in this form so role of purva karma is also there because snehan and swedana is purva karma so there is a role of snehan and swedana so understanding basti through ayurveda literature and in modern way and through the entering nervous system you can see madhu is yoga vahi so madhu is tridosha hara kapha hara so if you are designing for kapha kapha vata ja gridrasi then the quantity of madhu should exceed the quantity of sneha that is taila so quantity of honey should be more than that of quantity of taila and if you are so such concept we should develop madhu kashaya rasa and it does kapha chhedana the very important concept of madhu is it is best yoga vahi and it is kapha chhedana lekhana is achieved through this madhu makshika so same thing yoga vahi shukshma mar srotanugami brushya to so ati so ati quantity of madhu the more the quantity of hani make the basti more brushyata and hani is always kapha chhedana and it is balya and brushya hani so these are some of the compositions of hani so saindava lavana so deepana pachana rochana tridoshagna so these are some of the so kapha vilayana kapha chedana so these are some of the properties of saindava lavana 
So 12 gram, one aksha or one karsha equal to 12 gram Sindhavalavana is used. Tridoshahara. Tridoshahara as told by Acharya Sindhavalavana is Tridoshahara as told by Acharya Charaka Susrutan Bhagavatan Dhanvantri Nigantu. Also told tells that Sindhavalavana is Tridoshahara. Agni Deepana, Brushyata, Kapha Bilayana, Kapha Chedana, Marga Vishodana. So the, then there are some of the Sindhavalavana contains 21 essential and 30 accessory minerals. Some of the essential minerals present in Sindhavalavana. So Tilataila, if nothing is told for Basti, then it should be considered as Tilataila. That to Murchita Tilataila is used in Basti. So a Murchita Tilataila is contraindicated in the practice of Basti. We should always use Murchita Tilataila. Murchita Tilataila is always Vata Kaphara in nature. Madhu Marutagna Nacha Shleshma Vardana. If no so yeah, this Taila has Vyabai Vikasi nature, Snigdha Guna. So this Snigdha Guna, this Ushna Virya, it counteracts the Snigdha and Ushna Guna of Taila counteracts the Rukshata, Shita, Guna of Vata Dosha while treating the disease Vata Gridrasi. So Kalkadrabhya, usually we are using, yeah, Satapushva very regular in practice, actually classically Put Yavanyadi Kalka. Put Yavanyadi Kalka is told wherever Kalka is not mentioned. But in practice, we are using Satapushva Kalka as a Pachana Deepana, it is a Pachana Deepana Churana. So for Brahmana purpose, we are using Ashwagandha for Pitta, if you are designing a Pittahara Vasti, you should always think of Yashti Madhu Churana as a Kalka. So actually Kalka means Sapishta, Kalka. But practically Churanas is converted in, in the for, to the form of Kalka in the practice of Basti. So again Kwatha Drabya, so different type of Kwatha can be used in Basti. In the practice like Erenda Mula Di Kwatha, Dasha Mula Kwatha, Sahachara Di Kwatha. A combination of one or two Kwatha also can be used for the Basti. So Purva Karma, so one can go for Sarvanga, so, so Snehana and Sarvanga Sveda. So one can go for Sarvanga Abhyanga or else Sarvanga Vaspa Sveda or else one can work, go for Stanika Abhyanga followed by simple Nadi Sveda. Abhyanga, if done, so before administration of Basti, we should always go for Abhyanga, especially to the Kati, Prushta, Parswa, Adho Pradesha because these all are the main site of Apanavayu and through the abhyanga, the vitiated apanavayu can be corrected and it can be bring back to the normal function. Abhyangam, snehanam, sneha vishyandanam, mardabam, kleda karakam. And if you see the swedana, stamba gaurava sitagnam, swedanam, sweda karakam. So stamba gaurava sitagnam, sweda, sweda karakam. Stambagna, sitagnam, gauravagnam, and sweda karakam. These also are used as a purva karma. Snehanam Swedana is a purva karma. So through the understanding of the Bastitho literary source. So Navi Pradesha Kati Parsha Kukshi, Gatwa Shakri Dosha Chang Bilodia, Sam Sneha Kaya, Sapurisha Dosha, Samyak Sukena Iti Chaisa Basti. So the area of action of Basti is Navi Pradesha Kati Parsha Kukshi. So if you see the stana of Bata, Pakwasha Kati Sakti Stotrasti, Spasan Endriam Stanang Batasya, Tatrapi Pakwadhana Visheshata. See Pakwasha Kati Sakti. So see, these are the area of Patastana. And our Basti is also going to act on the Pakwasha Gata. It will act on Pakwasha Gata doshas. Whatever doshas present in Pakwasha, Basti is going to act and it is going to remove or eliminate all types of dosha along with the Malas. So action of Basti Vai Viriya. So Apadatala Murdastana Dosha and Pakwasa Stitaha Viriya and Basti Radate Kastuarka Vura Sanibam. So Vasti when enters Pakwasha Vai by its Viriya, Achinta Viriya, which is Prabhava, draws the morbid dosha lots in the entire body from the shoulder Apadatala, from the foot till the head. So the Basti has action. So such type of explanation is given as a mode of action for Basti. So sun evaporates, so there is a simile given to explain the eliminative or purification action of Basti as the sun evaporates the water from the earth's surface by the virtue of its strong and very penetrating rays. Similarly, the Tikshna, Ushna, Vyavai Guna of Drabhyas used in Basti help in Dosha Nirharana of through the entire Sharira. So same thing is told by Acharya Susruta also, the same concept. So the Basti by its Virya, if properly planned and administered, it eliminates the Sanchita doshas completely from its root, that is Mula, in the regions of Kati, Prushta and Kushta. Similar concept or shloka is explained by Susruta in Chikisasthana. So there is a Shodhana Guna of Basti. If you see the mode of action of Basti by Acharya Susruta, Acharya Susruta has always highlighted the Nirva Basti as Shodhana 
and lekhana in nature whereas the sneha basti has brahmana type of nature action brahmana sneha basti that is anuvasana basti it does brahmana along with shodhana pakvashe gata vata and purusha so there is a dual nature of anuvasana basti anuvasana basti has dual nature it does brahmana along with brahmana it does shodhana apakvashe gata vata and purusha whereas the nirvavasti is a shodhana type of it's a shodhana in nature and it does lekhana that's why anuvasana nirvavasti has to be followed after sneha vasti so sneha nirvavasti does srota shodhana it does srota shodhana and after and once the srota shodhana is done the sneha vasti helps in the brahmana karma it helps in the better absorption of the drugs and achieves the brahmana and vata shamana effect so action of by basti virya by ashtanga sangraha kalpasthana so ashtanga sangraha kalpasthana so explains the basti that so fast the so ashtanga sangraha has elaborated this matter as follows at the basti virya basti drugs reaches the apana vayu and nourishes it apana tripti then samana vayu tripti then dhyana vayu tripti then udana and prana vayu tripti then it corrects pitta and kapha and then it corrects the basti corrects the trika pradesha the virya of the basti spreads through the trika pradesha by the vyana vayu and to the adha pradesha or adho shaka by the apana vayu and to the urdha pradesha by the prana vayu just as a simile given is just as a farmer irrigates so similarly this basti also spreads all over the body by the virtue of its virya that is achintya virya so this is some of the like representation basti karma virya of the basti then it does apana vayu tripti udana vayu tripti vyana vayu tripti samana vayu tripti prana vayu tripti and normalcy of pitta and kapha sarva sharira poshana dhatu poshana because dhatu poshana is achieved in such a way so again same thing it is with the simile what acharyas have explained this action of basti vayu virya ashtanga sangraha kalpasthana again thus anuvasana basti has action over sapta dhatu so the one the single anuvasana basti has control over vata in basti area and vankshana pradesha the second the two anuvasana basti controls vata in siras similarly the the more is the more the number of anuvasana basti it reaches to the respective dhatus and it does poshana of the dhatus thereby dhatu poshana so dhatu kshay is corrected anyway this anuvasana basti matra basti it corrects the dhatu kshay avastha by doing dhatu poshana so again the modern understanding of basti is by the neural stimulation mechanism or through the ens entric nervous system so the entric nervous system is one of the main division of autonomic nervous system and consist of see see this so the the see now the world understand that the cns is the first brain whereas the ens is the second brain but as the as we go as the year passes i think that there will be such concept there will be one day that ens will be considered as first brain and cns will be considered as second brain because there are so much autonomic nervous supply or autonomic nervous systems means if we see the concept of gut microbiota and if we see the concept of ens there are there are lot of disease that origin that originates from this area and basti even also the acharyas in very ancient time they understood this concept then they have they have invented a different route of approach to counteract this all problems so brain and gut microbiome so these are the some of the concepts in my the gut my touch and go theory gut microbiome concept so there are lot of nerve system supply to the this git this part of ens entric nervous system and is yes there is a shodhana type of property this shodhana type of property can be explained can be understood in a excretory mechanism of the system where the basti causes irritation irritation and along with the this this irritation is like a stimulation this this uh, local irritation can do a stimulation type of action and it can activate many nervous reflex see again absorption mechanism see the anuvasana basti it acts very well with the absorption mechanism this lipid soluble basti this this lipid means 
this sneha types of basti so the the brahmana in action which are brahmana uh, brahmana in action so such basti so it the drugs create absorb very well so once the thing is that once you do srota shodhana by nirva basti then the absorption of anubhasana basti gets better so srota shodhana has to be done by nirva basti followed by the better absorption we found in uh, we find in anubhasana basti thereby we are achieving brahmana action thank you all uh, we will see if there are some questions in the question box and uh... Uh, regarding the first question yes. uh, can shira bala be used in pitta associated condition uh, yes the... yeah shira bala shira bala taila so it's a yeah it is a pittahara type of taila shita virya and shira shira is pittahara in nature uh, it can be used in the condition if it is pitta anuvandhi pitta anuvandhi type of condition pitta anuvandhi type of gridrasi so such condition we can go for shiravala taila even it can be used for kevala vata condition also for kevala vata ja gridrasi also it can be used thank you sir and the second question is um, the dosage of dravya in preparation of dashmula kashaya vasti and eranda mula vasti dose of preparation of kashaya yes dosage and dosage of dravya in the preparation of dashmula kashaya vasti and eranda mula vasti see normally we can see the normal dose they have told dwadasa prasruta vasti actually the dose is four prasruta the usual dose but that's why i told we can modify so practically this dose is not possible so for using four prasruta basti is not possible so always we can use the sarangadara avara matra dose you can always refer to sarangadara avara matra dose like around 200 to 300 ml of kashaya 200 or 300 ml of kwatha we can used in basti practically because dwadasa prasruta basti is not in practice you can use this sarangadara avara madhyam or pravara matra of basti while while framing a basti thank you sir and next question is what oil you use for brahmana vasti see brahmana vasti see there see lots of oil are there see any brahmana vasti so there is narayan taila maha narayan taila sahacharadi taila vaji gandhadi taila vaji gandhadi taila is told by yog ratnakara so simple vaji gandhadi taila contains vaji gandha vala millu vala villu ashwagandha so simple simple type of oil simple vatahara taila narayan taila maha narayan taila dhanvantaram taila vaji gandhadi taila sahachara taila dashamula taila simple vatahara taila can be used for the management of vataja gridrasi thank you sir and the next question is how to diagnose ama in gridrasi so ama lakshanas so ama lakshana should be there see in ama lakshanas you see gauravata so you see sometimes there will be stamba stiffness morning stiffness gauravata happiness arochaka agni mandya soka mukhasya so such type of ama symptoms and you will and you may not get this symptoms of nirama like you may may not get the symptoms like udgara suddhi utsada vega sarga yathachita so such type of presentation you may not get and you may get the presentations like shula stamba arochaka gaurava such type of symptoms you may select you you may get sama lakshana sama vata lakshanas such type of lakshanas you may get in kafavrta vata kafavrta vata they have in in the lakshana of kafavrta vata they have told shula and gaurava kafavrta vata so such type of avarana janya uh, lakshanas also you can diagnose oh, thank you sir and uh, what basti will help in ms i think multiple sclerosis and where do we find basti oils where do we find basti, basti oils okay multiple sclerosis uh, sclerosis see, always we should start with rukshana that to rukshana we can do in two ways bahya rukshana and abhyantara rukshana initially the initial stage of treatment should always include bahya rukshana you can use any dashamula kwatha for avagaha or parisheka or dhanyamla dhara or agni chikitsa lepa or baluka sveda as a ruksha type of sveda bahya rukshana we can do abhyantara rukshana also you can use some sardharana churna ashta churna vaishonara churna you can do once you you do some rukshana or murdu samshodhana or you can also go for murdu virechana by erenda taila and chira so once you do some sort of koshta shodhana and rukshana in the patient then you can start with some of the burmana type of chikitsa you can start with simple madhu tailika basti or erenda muladi nirva basti dashamula nirva basti 
which is simple vata in her in nature in the latter stage you can always try of doing brahmana you can always try of doing brahmana like any yapana basti you can go for any type of yapana or simple matra basti also will do brahmana simple matra basti will do brahmana also you can select apana vyasti in the later stage so it is according to avastha once you have to convert you initially you start with rukshana then you do vata shamana and as you are giving rasayana chikitsa in the end you do nidan like you do in shamana ushadi we do nidana parivarjana we do if there is ama condition we convert it to nirama avastha then we do shamana then we give some rasayana Sim similar things we can do in basti also initially you do do some of the basti in ama condition then you convert the ama condition into nirama avastha then you do tam vata shamana vai basti then you do brahmana with some basti so that rasayana action even they have told rasayana basti or brahmana basti in the practice of in practice of basti so such action whatever action you want we can achieve through basti rasayana vajikarana we want then there is rasayana and vajikarana basti whatever drugs we will put such type of action we will get in basti and uh, the next question is uh, nidana and uh, lakshana of kapha vrata pitta vrata and rakta vrata vata nidana and lakshana see again this avarana janya samprapti and see first we see pitta kara see all this the simple vata kara pitta kara or kapha kara nidana we have to accept then why it is causing avarana see avarana can be because of many factors so so avarana anyonya avarana so it might be anything the like for, for example rakta vrata vata kapha vrata vata it can be anything so one thing is that there is a obstructive pathology okay so there is a sometimes there is sanga sometimes there is vimarga gamana and sometimes there is avarana so avarana can happen because of various factors various factors because there has pancha vayu is involved prana udana samana vayu apana and again the dhatus also are involved then there is rasa rakta mamsa sapta dhatu is involved so the general very simple concept what we find in our chikitsa one thing is that we find kevala vata first you rule out that whether kevala vata is is the samprapti involved is kevala vata then you find out whether it is a samsrishta dosha see samsrishta dosha see daha and all there is a pitta samsrishta kapha and all there will be gaurava arochaka alasya tandra such type of there will be kapha samsrishta so you find out that whether it is a samsrishta dosha type of vata vyadi you find out whether there is avarana janya vata vyadi avarana janya vata vyadi there is a symptoms rakta vrata vata will have daha ruja spanda then there will be sparsha dvesha in rakta vrata vata there will be sparsha dvesha saruja daha so in sub symptoms we should select siravyada instead of basti if it is rakta vrata vata condition then if it is kapha vrata vata condition we can do rakta mokshana also you can go for kapha vata hara or ruksha tikshna types of basti kshara basti and you find out whether there is directly dhatu because because some of the abhighataja abhighataja type of nidana abhighataja type of nidana, type of nidana will have dhatu kshaya as a samprapti so by this way you can rule out all these things samprapti based on the what type of nidana they are exposed to and see there is always simple type of nidana involved vata kara pitta kara and kapha kara they are this is told it is told as a simple type of nidana but again once it comes to that stage of samprapti then we have to rule out which type of which type of sam, samprapti is involved in the manifestation of this type of vata vyadi such thing we have to find out and we have to start the treatment samprapti vigatana meva chikitsa we have to plan thank you sir one question from kalpana ji what is mrudu vamana so that is a question uh, mrudu vamana yeah yes. what is mrudu vamana yes so actually mrudu vamana is given in mrudu koshta so mrudu vamana what is mrudu vamana so madhu tailika basti so madhu tailika basti is the nava prasruta basti madhu tailika basti is told as mrudu basti is told as mrudu basti in the practice of in the practice why it is told like that mrudu basti because there is no need of giving alternate anuvasana with madhu tailika basti if you give madhu tailika basti every day also there will be no chance of vata prakopa there is no tikshna dravya in madhu tailika basti madhu tailika basti so madhu and taila is in sama pramana and it is it is a mrudu basti there is no tikshna dravya used simple sign see in madhu tailika basti madhu and taila in sama pramana there is shata pushpa kalka is there then there is dasha mula kvatha so such thing you can practice or you can use erenda muladi kvatha which is told by acharya susruta and dasha mula kvatha as a modification you can use in acharya charaka bharsan so it is a 
see it can be used in sukumara bruddha bala durbala alpagni that's why it is mrudu vasti no uh, the question is what is mrudu vamana sir oh mrudu vamana okay yeah. sorry sorry sir not going for classical vamana not doing sastrokta vamana uh, simple with simple with lavanodaka or yashtimadu fanta simple lavanodaka the mrudu vamana can be car- can be carried out by simple lavanodaka or yashtimadu so once somebody has kapha prasheka alasya so so person is spitting so spitting uh, the salivation so such type of symptom we go for mrudu bamana in we can do the like that we can do with simple lavanodaka and with limp, uh, simple yashtimadu fanta also we can do mrudu type of bamana so see for for this mrudu bamana there is no mandatory snehana and swedana there is no compulsory of snehana swedana in types of in in mrudu bamana you can directly go for because kapha is already in utklishta avastha in the mrudu bamana is practiced where kapha is already in utklishta avastha so that's why we can directly go for bamana karma so classical bamana is practiced where you have to make the from shakha to koshta you have to bring the kapha to the utklishta avastha by doing snehana swedana tananga sneha pana then you have to give vishrama kala then we have to give kapha vruddhi kara ahara in the one day of vishrama kala so that kapha vruddhi kapha vruddhi happens and bamana takes place so here there is no mandatory rule of snehana swedana then kapha vruddhi kara ahara simple mrudu bamana can be com- can be conducted through lavana udaka yashti madhu fanta such thing as practice it is in practice thank you sir uh, uh, at the beginning you mentioned tilvaka gruta for mrudu virechana can be used along with air and taila yeah. uh, tilvaka gruta is it available or uh, is it customized like we need to prepare and uh, how often you use it if as yes, in which cases see i used very upon air and taila that to tilvaka gruta i rarely i practiced frankly speaking i used gandravastha the erenda taila in in maximum practiced or there is other types of erenda taila like nimbamrta the erenda taila sukumara erendam or misraka sneha because erenda taila along with kshira i practiced in form of mrudu virechana and that too it is indicated in vaka vyadi to do mrudu samshodana or mrudu virechana such thing yeah, thank you dr sir and uh, why in vaitarana vasti ishat taila has been mentioned is there any specific reason for ishat taila so for our uh, participants ishat taila means use less quantity of uh, oil in vaitarana avasti so okay. is there any specific reason for yeah there is a specific reason for this uh, ishat taila so see they have told ishat taila yutoyam uh, ishat taila yutoyam because we are framing ek shara avasti so the main intent of uh, framing this is for arm of see actually this uh, kshara vasti is explained in the prakarana of amvata so why this ishat taila is told see this taila this see this the uh, abhyanga with taila sneha pana those things are contraindicated these those things are contraindicated while managing ama lakshanas that's why if you are using taila we can use little quantity of oil just to counteract the nirvavasti effect so if you are using taila in a very little quantity that too we should see that we should use some vata kafara taila that too like kotam chugadi taila murchita tila taila brahat saindavadi taila such type of taila or they have told saindavadi anuvasascha langanam swedanam tiktam deepanani katunicha virechanam sneha panascha bastischa am marute saindavadi anuvasascha kshaarapasti prasasyate you can always use brahat saindavadi taila saindavadi taila in a very little quantity one pala is clarified by the commentary as one pala means the isha taila is one pala but we are not using one pala it, it will be more we are using just 20 to 30 ml of brahat saindavadi taila or murchita tila taila just to counteract the so much rukshata of this basti because this is a complete ruksha basti there is gomutra is there imlika is there kshariya property of purana guda so to, to counteract all this tikshna dravya so there is some vata kafara taila also so taila will do its action marutagna na cha shleshma vardhanam that's why this little quantity of oil should be used whereas in kshaaravasti there is no mentioning of oil in kshaaravasti explained by explained by acharya chakradatta and vangasena they haven't mentioned any oil there is no oil in kshaaravasti but vaitaravasti has isha taila yutoyam that means commentary says that isha taila yutoyam means means one pala couple of questions before winding up uh... Uh, like go dukta and go mutra yukta so the two types of vaitarana vasti you mentioned uh, your quick answer on uh, the criteria of choice see go mutra yukta vaitarana is a kshara vasti kshariya in nature 
initial stage of kapha initial stage of kapha vata ja gridrasi you can go for mutra yukta vaitarana or kapha vrta vata condition gridrasi having this type of avarana janya condition that is kapha vrta vata condition initial 2 to 3 vasti can be planned 2 to only 2 to 3 vasti you expect some from sama lakshanas to nirama vakshta so you can plan this go mutra yukta vaitarana vasti go dugda yukta vaitarana vasti is somewhat brahmana compared to go dugda go mutra yukta vaitarana go dukta yukta vaitrana vasti it should be used in also it can be used in vata kapha ja gridrasi somewhat it is brahmana because kshira is added somewhat it is brahmana because kshira is used in that vasti you we can use this in vata kapha ja gridrasi also plain anubandhi condition also and we can use this vasti in kevala vata ja gridrasi also this can be used thank you sir uh, dr avinav pandey ji uh, has raised a uh, hand uh, a quick question sir i can sir for that debate uh, sir Yes, sir. Dr. Avino Pandey. Sir, my question is, uh, is a bit uh, different from this context. As yes. there is a patient of Mandagni and uh, I want to give Basti. So, yes. which Basti will be appropriate, sir? Kindly guide us. So, Mandagni. See, Mandagni, we should always do. Initially, we should do some Agni Deepan Ama Bachana drugs. Mandagni. We should always select a Murdu Basti. A Murdu, Murdu Basti in the sense, see, first, first of all, the dose of Basti should be very much less. The quantity of Basti should be very much less while selecting Murdu Basti. The, that, that, that should be the first criteria, the quantity of Basti. That too, Murdu Drabya should be used. So, it depends upon what type of disease you are planning. Simple Dashamula Nirva Basti is a Murdu Basti. Simple Madhu Tailika Basti is a Murdu Basti, which can be administered in Mandagni condition. They have told in indication, even Matra Basti also. Even simple matra vasti also they have told in the Durvala, Vridha, Vala, Sukumara and there also they have mentioned Mandagni. There is also that there is a mentioning. So matra vasti also practiced in the case of Mandagni and Murdu type of Niro vasti like Madhu Tailika vasti. Simple Madhu Tailika vasti is a Yapana vasti, simple Madhu Tailika vasti. Such practice can also can be done in this. Gurdrasi. Sir, matra vasti by which, which oil or yeah, which taila? Shira wala taila. We can use Kshira Vala Taila. But it is uh, in Brahman in nature. So will it uh, be good for... Uh, sir, Brahmana, sir, the disease, it depends upon, see, the Koshta, it is okay. Murdu Koshta Agni. But depends upon if it is Kevala Vataja, if it is Kevala Vataja type of Gridrasi. Hatukshaya happens because of Vata Prakopa. Then you can do, you can go with some Vata Hara Brahmana Taila. No problem. We can do. But if, if again, if it is some Kapha Samsrushta Vata or Kapha Vrta Vata type of Gridrasi, then we should always select some tikshna taila, ushna taila, like pippalya di anuvasana taila. Pippalya anuvasana taila is a tikshna taila, ushna taila. Such type of taila you can think of vata kapha jag gridras. Even sahacharadi taila is also vata kapha in nature. Thank you, sir. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you, there, uh, Dr. Ravindra, sir. And uh, last question uh, from Sandy Ji. Sir, how much quantity of amlika is used in practice? Your quick note, sir, before we wind up. Practice, we are using just uh, 30 grams of amlika. See, 30 okay. to 40 grams of amlika we are using. See, see, whatever they have told in classic, see, classics, they have told one pala. One pala means 48 grams. See, practice, we are not putting around the approximately 50 grams of amlika. We are not putting. I am practicing 30 to, 30 to 35 grams of amlika. I am practicing in my Vaitrana Basti, Shara Vaitrana Basti, Go Mutra Yukta Vaitrana Basti. Thank you, sir, uh, for your elaborative presentation and taking all the questions and uh, answering them promptly. Thank you, Dr. Divya Jodhi, for this uh, wonderful session. Hope uh, everybody enjoy. Uh, and uh, of, uh, thank you, all the participants. And uh, uh, thank you, Dragran, sir, and uh, uh, Heba, sir, for giving me an opportunity to host this uh, session. Uh, thank you once again.